How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to free up a ton of your iCloud storage because it's so so annoying when we get one of those notifications saying that the iCloud storage is full and you need to upgrade. You need to subscribe to iCloud Plus or if you are already a subscriber you need to get a bigger plan so spend money and we don't want that do we? So. In this video, let me show you how to prevent that, how to free up storage so you don't need to spend that money. Let's begin. So all you gotta do is go to your settings and then tap on Apple ID, as you guys can see on that top banner, and then iCloud. Right here, we can already see our storage and we can easily manage it. As you can see here, I do have 200 gigabytes of iCloud storage. I am an iCloud Plus subscriber, but as you can see, I'm almost there at the limit. So I'm almost starting to get those messages saying that I need to upgrade, spend more money, and I don't want that. So how to actually free up a ton of this storage? It's super easy, guys. In order to do this, all you gotta do is tap on Manage Storage. As you can see, let it load, and then let it load yeah it takes a while and as you can see we can take a look at everything that's taking up our iCloud storage and I want to start with backups because it's super easy to free up a ton of storage just on your backup so tap on backups let it load as well and as you can see here I have quite a lot of backups for quite a lot of devices so I have a backup for my iPhone 12 Pro Max my previous device for this 13 Pro Max as you can see this iPhone for my iPad, for another iPad, and for another iPhone. This may be the case for you, or maybe it's not. But what I recommend you to do here are two very important things. First, if you have older devices like I do, you can already delete it. You don't need a previous backup of a previous device. You don't need it anymore. All the information on this iPhone is already on this backup, so I don't need my older ones. For example, my 12 Pro Max. So I can simply tap here, delete my backup and then turn off and delete. This device is not even with me anymore. So I can easily delete and then I can save 3.7 gigs. As you can see, 3.7 gigs will be free up from my uh, iCloud. Sometimes it may take a while, you may need to come back and then go back to it, let it load, because as you can see, it takes a while. And as you can see, it's gone and my documents and data has updated, I don't have that storage being taken up anymore. Same thing with my this iPad, I don't have it anymore, and you can keep going. Another very important thing is sometimes you have more than one backup for just one device, and the same logic will apply here. You just need the most updated backup. So if you have more than one backup for the same device, you can delete the old ones and just have the most recent one, because the most recent one will have everything that you need it's updated, you don't need the old ones. Still talking about backups, and this is a very important tip if you're not an iCloud Plus subscriber, so if you just have five gigs, this is super, super important, guys. I do recommend that if you just have five gigs and you don't wanna get iCloud Plus, you don't wanna spend money on this, I do recommend that you perform your backups through the computer. Do a computer backup because probably you won't have enough st storage to back up to iCloud, so go ahead and back up to a computer. If you're not really familiar with the process, you don't really know how to do it, I have a very recent video on this. I'll put a card right here and on the description, so then you can go ahead and take a look at my step-by-step -step guide on how to back up your iPhone to any computer, Mac and PC, all right? So now that we're done with backups and we have already freed up a few gigs, Let's continue and let's talk about photos. As you can see, photos is taking up a lot of my iCloud storage. To be precise, 144 gigs, so more than half, more than two thirds actually. So you can see on this graph right here that photos is taking up the majority of my iCloud storage. So how can I actually free up this space? Well, we have two things we can do. Number one, this is a very, very important tip, if your iPhone has a lot of internal storage, for example, this iPhone has 256 gigs of internal storage. I'm not talking about iCloud, I'm talking about the internal storage, so 256 gig iPhone. So this iPhone can actually hold 
all of my photos so I don't need to have all of those photos in iCloud. So if you have an iPhone that has enough storage, you can simply go ahead, come back, go to photos and you can simply disable iCloud photos. If you disable iCloud photos, what this will do is it'll delete all of your photos from the cloud and just have the photos on your iPhone. Again, you gotta make sure your iPhone has enough storage to hold all of those photos and videos. In my case, I do, because as you just saw, uh, if you go back to manage storage, let it load, because as you saw, it takes a while. I have 144 and this iPhone has 256 gigs, so I have enough storage. So if I wanna, uh, I can just disable iCloud Photos, as you saw, and then all of that storage would just be freed up from my iCloud. One thing to keep in mind is, if you do this, you only have your photos on this iPhone. Uh, so all of the photos will be deleted from other devices. And if you have a problem with this iPhone, uh, it breaks down or something, you lose all your photos because you won't have the photos in iCloud anymore. So that's a possibility, but keep in mind that there are some drawbacks. And there is another alternative, and I think it's a really good alternative, and that is using Google Photos. Instead of storing your photos in iCloud, you can use Google service, which has much more available storage, it's much cheaper, and for most people, it'll be free. So I do recommend that you use Google Photos if your iPhone doesn't have enough local storage and if you still want to have uh, your photos in the cloud, you can use Google Photos. I'm going to have a link in the description to Google Photos to the application in the App Store. Now let's talk about iCloud Drive. So let's talk about all of the documents that I have in iCloud. So as you can see, I have 31.8 gigabytes. So what you can easily do is tap on iCloud Drive especially if you have a ton of files like I do, maybe you don't, but I'm showing you everything you can do here. So some of those will apply to you, some of those won't, but my, my recommendation here is showing you pretty much everything you can do. So you can see what's best for your reality, all right? So as you can see, 31.8 gigs, and I have a ton of files right here, but most of my files are pretty small. I have a ton of files, but most of them are really, really small. But if you have really large files, you can easily go ahead, for example, slide and delete, and then delete once again. And as I said, this is extremely helpful, especially if you have really large files. So you can go ahead and easily delete a lot of documents, unnecessary stuff, and then start freeing up your storage. Now let's talk about messages. And if you have iCloud messages turned on, you'll have messages and of course all your chats, your, your photos, videos, attachments and everything like that taking up storage in your iCloud storage. So uh, what you can do to actually solve this issue is simply tap here on top conversations and you see your top conversations right here. And if you text somebody uh, a lot and you have a lot of uh, attachments and things like that you see very very large numbers right here so you can easily go ahead slide to the right delete and then you can free up the storage just like that by deleting straight from here especially because sometimes we have chats that we don't even use anymore that are just taking up our storage and if you want to be even a little bit more radical what you can do is simply disable and delete when you disable and delete, you're disabling iCloud messages. So you're disabling the service to store all of your chats and messages and photos and videos in the cloud, but you're not deleting from the iPhone. You're just disabling, removing from the cloud, but not from the iPhone. So you can easily delete messages and you will be deleting those messages from the cloud as I mentioned before. Since I don't have a lot, as you guys can see here, it's just really 58 megabytes, I'm not gonna delete, I use the service, but for you, it may be interesting if you're really, really desperate to actually free up some storage. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I wanted to teach you, how to free up a ton of iCloud storage, very easy, with just a few steps, and then I do hope that with this, I can save you some money, I can actually prevent you from having to actually subscribe or upgrade your plan and spend some extra money. So this is the whole intent of this video, saving you some cash, all right? So that's it. 
and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.